Today I'm demonstrating how cold chain logistics can be addressed by Nokia's impact software and products from our partner ecosystem. If you don't know what a cold chain is, it's the idea of transporting temperature sensitive materials such as food or pharmaceuticals. I like to think ice cream. As it moves throughout the cold chain, it goes through many different entities along the way. Every one of these entities represents a silo that may or may not be measuring temperature along the way. And that's very analogous to how machine-to-machine -machine applications have gotten us today. We're used to seeing one device for one application for one use case. But as the cost of sensors and devices go down, the ubiquity goes up. And obviously we can't have 100 different devices for 100 different applications. It just doesn't scale. That's why Nokia is pleased to introduce our Internet of Things management platform we call Impact. It takes a horizontal approach to managing any device supporting any application, reducing any silos and redundancies. Let's just put it in a, a context of fleet management. Regardless of the fleet you're managing, you're probably monitoring engine diagnostics or vehicle speed, geolocation, and fuel level efficiency. But if you're transporting, for example, ice cream, you may also want to measure the temperature, maybe in multiple zones inside that truck. And then of course, you need to be able to track the asset itself, the ice cream, as it follows through different places along the chain. What I'm demonstrating here is a variety of sensors, each with a different purpose. This one here is a sensor that plugs into, for example, the onboard diagnostic port of vehicle to capture engine diagnostic, fuel level, uh, location, etc. This sensor here is a sensor from Bosch, which manages uh, temperature, pressure, humidity, acoustics, ambient light, gyro, there's like nine sensors in here. What's really nice about this sensor is that it supports a protocol known as lightweight M2M, -M, which means it's very easy to interoperate with our platform since it's one of the many protocols we support. There's no custom code needed to integrate this one with our software. This sensor here is an, uh, a cellular-based asset tracker that tracks the assets throughout the entire process. Inside the vehicle, we're showing an edge gateway, in this case provided by Dell, which is able to, at a high level, provide connectivity up to the cloud as well as to all the sensors sort of on board. What's great about having an Intel-based gateway inside the vehicle is that we can also run our impact software locally inside the truck. That allows all these devices to be able to speak whatever protocol they prefer, and then our impact software sort of collects the data, manages the devices, and sends it up to impact in the cloud. Once all this data is in the cloud, we can build multiple applications off even the same use case. One for the fleet manager, one for the driver, one for the supplier and the customer. Because Impact also has ability to other gateways, other sensors, and even external systems. Lastly, I have a cartoon here about how this all works. Imagine that this truck is delivering ice cream and uh, maybe it's stuck in traffic. On this day, it's particularly hot outside. And because it's hot outside, it's actually starting to impact the temperature inside the vehicle. Because impact is aware of the temperature outside, the temperature inside, the assets are inside the truck, as well as where it's going, the fleet manager is able to say, well, at the rate things are going, it's not going to make it to its destination before the ice cream melts. So let's reroute it to a different storage facility or customer to prevent the food from being spoiled.